Who do you think, if you had to choose, they're both at the peak of their powers, they're coming into the league, who would you say is more marketable? Michael Jordan or LeBron James? Who is more marketable as a player? LeBron coming into the league. But he said coming into the league. Coming Michael wasn't a made man. LeBron coming into the like, coming in coming yeah, into LeBron. the league. The answer is easy. It's LeBron. He, Le, Le, LeBron had all the hype as a high school uh, as a high school student as a high school athlete. He was trying to follow Michael Jordan's footsteps. The hype was already pre generated. A Nike deal exceeding forty million dollars for even stepping the court and all that. Whatever, whatever it was, right? Like Mike was a surprise to people. Like coming out of, he was a he was a, they thought he'd be a really good player, all star. They didn't think he was going to be what he was. So, the the marketing, the the hype wasn't quite the same for Michael coming out of high high school. It wasn't. In fact, he didn't even go number one. <laughs> he didn't even go number one. But that's just so, that was back when like bigs were the ones that were mm-hmm. most coveted. But we saying marketable though. I, I'm just saying I don't I don't think that Michael Jordan came out of came out of college with the same level of hype that lebron did and then part and michael jordan's part of the reason why lebron had the hype because he was he was they were like yo this is the next one this is the guy this is the guy he's he's in a rival he's going to rival that man right okay. and, and we had that expectation of him so it created hype i mean his games his high school games were on espn they were selling out he, they had to move games from the raggedy ass gym they were in in ohio to to, to ohio state university to to to, to uh the where they put football over there where, where's the football field in there? energy whatever uh the football field over there you gotta go to the football field and play football and play basketball over there because there was too many people trying to go to the game so if we're talking about height mar- marketability Le- lebron was like a, a, a marketing uh just a marketer's dream uh michael had not established that quite yet after one year in the nba obviously he did that, hey miles hey miles i want to ask you this so Greg answered, and you could answer this, of course, Greg, if you have a different thought of it. Miles, right? Now, that was the question was at the entering in their rookie season, who is more marketable? Thinking about it now, from what we saw from MJ, from what we've seen from Bron, at the peak, at their peak of their powers, who would you say is actually more marketable, MJ or Bron? I'd say MJ, easy. I mean, Without MJ, most of these guys don't have these deals that they got. I mean, he basically paved the way for all these guys to get these these deals where they're getting, you know, KD or the Kyrie's or the LeBron's. Like nobody was doing that before, like to the magnitude that Jordan had. Like, sure, coming into the league, he wasn't as heralded as LeBron was coming out of high school, but he was still like a top five top 10 pick in the NBA. And I mean, rookie rookie year to average like 30. Sure, that's when it really took off. That's when you were able to see like, all right, Jordan is that guy. But I mean, I don't think there's ever been a better brand than Jordan to be started from the bottom like that. I mean, it's his own brand and I don't even think it's a part of Nike anymore. I think he's branched out to being like almost bigger than Nike at this point. Like the fact that someone can be bigger than Nike just speaks to the volumes and the cultural impact too that those shoes had kind of helped kind of build that that buzz up for it. Because I ain't wearing bronze to the club. Like Greg has said multiple times, I ain't wearing bronze to the club. Yo, I think I think Michael Jordan had the benefit of coming first, of being first. And I think that because he was first, he got the best designs and he, you know, he had the opportunity to kind of pave the way. He came, he was first. Uh, and I think that w- w- he's literally a trailblazer in that sense. So, um, you know, if I look at it, I'm thinking about it differently than maybe Miles is. I think Miles is thinking about it from, for, from the standpoint of what is, what happened. I'm thinking about it from, Yo, if these two dudes are in the NBA at the same time, well, we can't. We can't look time, at it like that, though. Yeah, I'm, I'm, you said marketability. I ain't saying ain't. I'm not looking about it from what is or what happened. I'm looking like about Jackie, yo, these Jackie two Robinson dudes. Peak, black peak for peak. Barry Bonds. 
Yeah, I mean, I think being first is a is a benefit in the situation. Nike he got he got Nike's great some of Nike's greatest designs because he was first in line. He was first in line, fair. And he also had the the world in pandemonium because they had never seen a basketball player that good before. They had never seen it. There's also look if LeBron played when Michael Jordan played, LeBron would average 30, 10, and 10, 35, 35, 10, and 10, whatever it might have been. Because they, they he wasn't Michael Jordan wasn't playing the best competition back then. He simply wasn't. I'm sorry. The league was an expansion, right? They they that's the reality of it. They it wasn't it just the reality of it was he came into the league and there were guys like Eduardo Nahara guarding him. Okay, like if, what would LeBron do with a guy like that guarding him? Let's just be honest. Things get better with time. They evolve. So if these two dudes are playing at the exact same time, I think their marketability might have been equal because of the fact that they were they would have been at least as good as each other. I don't think that Michael Jordan would have been like, oh, heads and shoulders above LeBron James. I just don't believe that. I'm sorry. Say what you want to say. I don't believe that. So that's what I, I think. I think peak for peak, they play at the same time. I think LeBron is actually be more marketable just off the strength of he's more accessible. He's more yeah. marketable to multiple people. Remember, yeah. MJ kind of shut off a whole section of people, just mm-hmm. a whole section of people. Kind of with this, with, with that right there, he kind of shut them off completely yeah. and actually, you know, Republicans buy my sneakers. I don't get uh-uh. that whole, yeah, that, <laughs> that whole thing. He didn't, yeah. he didn't really... Bron, on the other hand, we see Bron. Bron just now at forty-seven years old was the one holding the American flag. I think Bron would have been more marked just on the fact of the world pretty much loves Bron. Outside of every, every now and then, they get pissed off when he says something political, but that's any black athlete. For the most part, the world loves LeBron. I think he would have been more marketable. We're not having a debate of who's better. We've already had that, and y'all viewed it 50 million times on Instagram. I low-key made, low made it about that just now, so people will love that. But Oh, yeah, I, of course. 35, I, 10, I mean, 10, Eduardo Nohara? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, like, come on, man. Like, it's just, I don't know, bro. It's just, to me, I just don't, I think there were, there were great players back then that could have been dominant in this era. But there were fewer of them. There were fewer of those unicorn great players back then than there are now the LeBron's to deal with. Is that a fair comment? I think it's very fair. But people are going to disagree because people do what they want to do. It don't matter. I don't try to placate idiots. But that's all right. 